please sign right here. Let me take a picture of you with the box. A picture? Why? It's part of the protocol. Oh. Okay. I don't need to remind you how sensitive the material is. I know. Thanks. Good. Take care. It just arrived. Good. Listen, priority is to find the real cause of death. Early reports indicate suicide, but I don't buy it. It doesn't make sense. She was too important and the timing was odd. She more like the vice president. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So now you see how deeply in trouble you'd be if anything leaks out. You're putting me in a tough spot here, Tom. Not if you're careful, Russell. Just make sure nothing leaks out. Why not wait for the full autopsy? Why do you need me? We need to move faster, and if there's something bigger going on, we need to investigate. GoAT has been dodging us for way too long. So you want me to spy on them through her memories? But if I'm right, it will take us somewhere nasty. I know there's something off. We just need to find out what. All right. I'll do what I can. Good. Remember it. Well, we don't know anything yet. We will, Russell. So... I've given you access to her apartment on Stratford Avenue. If you want to investigate the real place, you should head out there now. All right. I'll check it out. Okay, then. I'll leave you to it. Don't keep Stan waiting, and keep me posted on anything you find. Sure. See ya. I've got nothing to put in there. This'll take a while. I should visit her apartment while the memory gets ready. Hey, Russell, right? Tom said you'd come. Feel free to take a look around, but don't touch anything. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah? Do you have any theories about what happened? It's a little early yet, but everything points to suicide. There are lots of loose ends as to why, especially considering who she was. Her laptop, for example, is gone. We haven't been able to find it, so who knows how deep that thing goes. Even so, I don't think there's a possibility someone sneaked in and forced her to take some pills somehow. But don't take my word for it. We don't even have the full autopsy report yet. Did she leave any children or family? No, no children, no brothers or sisters. Foreign parents that she didn't see much. For now, that's all I know. And a husband. Pretty regular corporate profile, if you ask me. Who found her? Didn't you get the report? It was her husband. Do you know anything else about him? His name is Alex. Pretty average guy. Fitness trainer. The victim had kicked him out a few months ago. They were about to get a divorce. He came by to pick up some stuff he'd left here. Could he have been angry about the divorce? Yeah, but as I said, she'd been dead for at least six hours before he got here. So if somehow he forced her to take an overdose over the phone, then yeah, he could have done it. What time did he find her? The morning after, and called right away. The security cameras corroborate the time he arrived, so we don't have any reason to suspect him. Thanks. No problem. Quite a view. Go AT's new project. Probably her last meal. The great shaman Poe, master of mirrors, has passed away on his hundredth birthday, dated July 12th.
GoAT's Indie Tech Magazine, a hub for independent tech to show off their work. Translation, a hub to check for new tech and ideas and absorb them before they grow. At least that's always been the trend with these companies. Looks like where the body was. Looks like where the body was. Gzak sleeping pills. You need a prescription for these. Bloody footprints. She probably stepped on the broken shards. Vomit. Broken. Looks like Something was thrown at it. Alex's clothes, probably. I wonder what's in those boxes. Looks like an expensive mask. Another broken mirror. I don't think it's a coincidence. It's getting late. consists of uh, a lot of thinkers who love technology, but who, um, as Cindy Smith very, very uh, eloquently put it here earlier, feel that technology is something that both can empower and do fantastic good in the world, and at the same time, gives us new power to screw up in even grander ways than before. So we feel we want to do everything we can now to make sure that technology gets used for good. If we look at not very powerful technological... There's been a lot of shutdowns lately, and this building's electrical grid is just as old. So I got a backup. Upload is ready. Evie, ready? Yes. Okay, good. Please operate on patch 1.2 and scan for the latest memory you can find, ideally just before her death. Understood. So this is when she died. Hmm, interesting glitch on the clock. Reconstructing glass from memories. I don't think we'll ever get it right. Lots of missing information here, Evie. This doesn't seem to be the right moment. Yes. I wasn't able to pinpoint any further coordinates. Objective data is incomplete. Reasons? High emotional state. Hmm. 
She might have known she was going to die. Is there enough data to reconstruct a subjective state of the memory? Yes. Good. I'll enter the subjective state and see what I can find. Subjective reconstruction was successful, but I couldn't interpret all data. It's fine, Evie. Subjective interpretation is tough for any AI, even a special one like you. That ladder goes down to the first floor. I can't make sense of this sound. Could this be her as a child? Hmm. There was something here in the objective state. Evie, there seems to be a bugged reconstruction here. No way to fix it, right? There is incomplete data linked to this coordinate. Shouldn't be too far. It belongs somewhere in the memory, but I cannot interpret it. I need to know what it is and where it belongs. All right, I'll study it and put it in the right place. Evie, do a match with clock data at this spot. Picture of a dog following her? Someone's knocking at the door. Reminder, at your discretion, I can momentarily free memory and processing power to deliver more accurate feedback. A spider web. No way out. Water is running. No mirror. Sounds close. Maybe in the objective state. Maybe this is the right moment. The raw data should work here. 
Easy. Do a match right here with a mirror being violently broken. Any good news? It wasn't a clear reconstruction, but I managed to get some objective evidence. There was a clear hand next to her, just when she was lying on her bed and the pills were all over the floor. So it seems you may be right. There was definitely somebody with her. A hand. That's all you could find? Well, Tom, I'm just getting started. Her last memories are fuzzy, and that's probably because of the psychological stress she was under. The fact that she wasn't alone is a good start. Yeah, good to know. But we need to know who it was so we can do something about it. I'll keep looking, Tom. Let's just hope the rest of the memories are in better shape. I hope so. Did you find anything else? I saw a lot of other things. I just need to understand her unconscious better. It's fine, Russell. Just keep looking. But I need something else from you. We need to get into her private email. The password? We were able to hack the words, but there are three numbers at the start that we don't know. We have only a few shots at this. So that's why I need you. Her password? I'd like to avoid that. Listen, Russell, we're here precisely to avoid tech industry fuck-ups like in the past. And finding the password is aligned with that goal. You're here because of that. My research had nothing to do with all of it. Russell, just send us the scan and inspection report is legally required, and there will be no issues, I promise. We're counting on you for this one. The password ends with NAMAS. N-A-M-A-H-S. But it's preceded by three numbers. We have three to four tries with this password at most. So when you have something, call me. It's not that simple. There are major consequences. I'll wait for your call. Bye, Russell. Damn it. I've got nothing to put in there. Simulating human choice based on raw memory data. Haven't been able to read it yet. Far off, but worth reading, according to Carl. We're so close. Scanning and reconstructing in real time. The final problem is head movement. Everything's too invasive. Finding a password will take time. I better leave Evie working on it. Upload is ready. Okay, Evie. We need to find that password. But most importantly, how and why she died. If you can isolate memories or dreams that may have a connection with the password, or emotional patterns similar to those of her death. A deep search is needed to find such patterns. It will take time. Yeah, I know. I could use some rest anyway. Understood. Search will run overnight. Optimize the processes as much as you can. Good night, Evie. Thank you. Good night. Home sweet home. Carl. Hmm. So what do I owe this surprise? Russell. How are you? No complaints. How about you? All good, all good, thank you. Happy to hear that. Hey, uh... I sent you an email. Okay. Yeah, and... For some reason I felt like I should call you. It's nothing serious, just wanted to call you personally and uh, tell you that, well, you know, wanted to say that regardless of our professional differences, I'm still here, if you need me. I know you know that, but 
I felt like I wanted to make it clear. There's no need, Carl. I know we're good, and it's never been personal, you know that. I know. I just wanted to make sure you knew where I stand. How are things with the TSB, by the way? Yeah, stable, but they gave me this new case, and they don't seem very eager to respect their own laws. Hmm, another murder? Yes, high-profile one. Go AT, no less. Damn it. Wait, can you even tell me this? You're under the same contract as I am, Carl. Mm, I wonder if it will ever end. I should probably notify them. Yeah, you should, before they jump to conclusions. You're absolutely right. And how are you doing? Lots of change. House, work, people. Even this number will have to go. How secretive. Nah, it's just a renewal. I won't lie that it feels good to have just a little bit more funding, though. <laughs> you should try it one day. Mm, I bet it does. But you know... You gotta finish your work. I know. Anyway, Russell, I'm glad to hear that you're okay. Let's be in touch, all right? And make sure to check that email I sent you. Sure, I'll read it. Good. Bye, my friend. Be safe. You too, Carl. Take care. Just about to turn the corner. We just need one final push. But does that ever end? I'm preparing my final work. The human experience. It's a framework for the future. All very useful. Very down to earth. <laughs> well, technology has changed the world many times for good or bad. But you could say that we have adapted in a way. But can we adapt forever? Take the internet, for example. A great invention, even though it's presented some serious challenges to society, we're still alive. Now imagine if something as world-changing as the internet happened every year. Then add anti-aging technology to the mix, or technology to improve our brains. Maybe add general AI all in that same year, and perhaps a new type of bomb. Can we catch up and adapt fast enough? Or will we lose control and leave it all to chance, or to a group of companies? Or maybe we'll create too much control and leave our fate in the hands of a few politicians. That's down to earth, I'd say. What do you think? <laughs> so what are our options? I think the scary thing is not knowing. We have to imagine that there's a powerful creature in front of us being fed by our creativity. It's not good, it's not evil. But once awakened, it'll change our civilization forever. We just have to be ready. That's why we need to create a solid ethical framework for the things we want to protect, so the fabric of society doesn't break. Naive. <laughs> okay, about one particular scary technology. Now that we have such advanced brain scanning tech, do you have any hopes of outlasting your body? Or do the possibilities of that make you even more worried? I take it slowly. But I'm excited by the possibilities. And what would you say is your biggest drive in all of this? This independent quest? I'm not sure. It's... He wants everything. But why are you still using that voice for Evie? There are so many good ones now. The fewer layers, the better. We don't need the emotional layer in the voice, do we? Well, why not? Wouldn't that make communication easier? No, it wouldn't. We've talked about this, Joshua. Getting things done between humans and understanding each other is hard enough already. Give me one good reason why I should add that to an AI assistant. What I need is her data expressed as rationally and plain as possible. Like an equation. This fantasy of human-like voices is just as stupid as it is dangerous. Excuse me? Nothing. 